Uh, welcome to the 9 a.m. update. I'm uh, Steve Rhodes. Uh, currently, we've got the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract trading down 56 points. No big deal there, 27.022. S&P off four and a half. NASDAQ down eight. Uh, Russell 2000 up uh, six points uh, this morning. In overseas trading, we had the uh, Shanghai off 55 points. That was one and three quarters percent. The Hang Seng down one and a quarter percent, 334 points. Uh, over at the Japan, over in Japan, the Nikkei was uh, basically flat. That's up 13 points. Uh, in Australia, their markets were higher by a third of a percent. The uh, ASX 200 up 21 points. Over in Europe this morning, you've got the DAX off 59 points. That's about a half a percent. And the FTSE relatively flat off four points, though. Gold's back two bucks. Silver 12 pennies. Light sweet crude off 74 cents. T-bonds, uh, 30-year Treasury is up uh, by uh, four ticks out there. So let's take a look at the markets out here. What do we have? You know, we've got these really conflicting signals out here. If we take a look at the ES Mini as an example, yesterday what it did was it confirmed a, a D point of an A to B equals CD pattern out there. It did that because yesterday's, well, it was really Sunday evening's open in the equity futures was a gap to the downside. That gap remained open all day yesterday. Gap our friends are both bullish or bearish, depending on the direction, and that was a bearish signal out there. Now, all of that suggests that what the ES Mini ought to do is catch up with what I refer to as Stevie's green line. That's the oscillator and change line. It's currently priced at 29.77. Now, this move can take place over the course of the coming days. Sideways-ish type action that we've had. Um, you know, it could be price going all the way down there. Uh, it could be a number of ways that that test could unfold. But that test should unfold, providing you and I with the next piece of information, which is which direction is the market going to go in? Now, the beauty of that is that we also have our daily profiles out here. If we take a look at the ES Mini right now, that's on our left-hand panel. Uh, what you're going to see is that there is a new box that formed, new profile level that formed. It confirmed uh, this morning. The top of that is now 3,008. Yesterday was 3,006. The bottom is 2,972. There's a close blow 2972 in the ES Mini between that and yesterday's confirmed sell the D point, we would anticipate lower price, but not until then. A close below 2972 in the ES Mini. Hey, stay tuned. I'll be covering for Larry Pesavento. If not, have a terrific Tuesday, folks.